All right. Um, yeah, just, uh, man, uh, I'd say disappointed uh, with the lack of being able to take advantage of the opportunities we had to win this football game. Uh, I will say this, that may our, I just want to, I want to plead with our, with our, I just want to first of all say thanks to our fans for showing up, being loud, the place was electric when we, when we uh, started to make some plays at the end of the half, uh, end of the fourth quarter, taking it to overtime. You know, they were right there with us the whole way. And uh, just promise you, like, we're, I'm, we're doing everything in our power and then some to, uh, you know, create a nightmare at home. And right now we're not doing it. Um, so we're going to go to work. So the bye week's going to be it's a big week for us to get better, uh, take a look at, you know, what's, what's uh, like right now we have, we have an idea of the symptoms, but what's going on underneath uh, process-wise on, on, why, on why we're not playing complimentary football in 60 minutes. So that's what we're going to be attacking this week. And... Um, and then we'll come back to work and and uh, and move forward. But I am proud of our guys' fight. They played their they played their their tails off. They played hard last of the final second. You know, after facing all the adversity that we either faced or created for ourselves. And so I just felt like we didn't flinch and just uh, and battled. So we got the right guys. We just have to make it come to life. So um, you know, but we're our backs against the walls and, and we got to go. The decision, you know, the time to go for it on fourth down, and then the play call there. Can you just, I guess, well, again, when we was, uh, that was our, um, that was a play call we liked. We liked the look. Uh, we got to be able to get a half yard in two shots. You know, great football teams convert third and fourth and short. And right now we're not doing that. So, if, you know, there's math behind if you, you know, if you, if you, if you, if you kick the field goal there on four downs all the way to field goal range, uh, I felt like we had a great opportunity to go win it with a touchdown right there. So we went for it. A similar vein there, Mike. The offensive line, you had a number of penalties up front, so snap issues today, and, yep. and not being able to get that, that half yard, as you mentioned. What, how do you kind of see up front and what happened there today and where you guys are at with that right now? Well, we're not there yet for by any stretch of the imagination. And, um, again, I thought the guys played hard. We've been playing hard up front. Um, but, you know, that, that's going to be part of what we're, what we're looking at over the next week. And I, I just say it's fair to say, you know, in all three phases, um, it's kind of all on the table right now of um, adjustments, things we need to move and shake, and, and uh, really be evaluating everything. So that'll be that'll be a big part of it. What did you make of Geno's? It seems like a lot of highs and lows. Well, he made some big time plays for us. Um, it's not not easy. He didn't have a lot of time back there. They had a good they had a good rush plan. Um, we got to protect him better. And. Uh, I'm sure he's going to, you know, he's going to tell you that he's going to take ownership of, of you know, the three picks. We've got to make smarter decisions in that way. But, you know, we got to finish drives, and we got to take care of the football. I mean, it's – you guys see it. We see it. Um, we have to be better if we're going to win. What did you see on the, the third one in particular? It looked like A.J. got held up as he was crossing the formation. Uh, I'd have to – honestly, i got to watch it. I don't – can't give you a good answer on that one. What was your message to them in the locker room? Uh, similar to what I've told you guys is um, we got guys that fought and uh, but we have to we have to go to work and make this right because right now we're doing too many things that are uh, are not it's not winning football it's not complimentary and um, we're gonna go to, and just just the same mentality we've had. Every week, we got to keep that going, and we're going to find the solution at some point. So, right now, we just we don't have the solution. I wish I had the solution right now, but um, you know, we're going to go to work and we're going to figure it out. You say you have the right guy, not that you don't, but what about them? Has you convinced you have the right guy? I mean, I think you guys had to have felt it today. Just the fight from our football team. Um, you know, just I felt like I, I felt like we, you know, coming off the last week. On how we felt going back to work, the practices we stacked, all the, all the all the meetings and the and the conversations that we've had, it's all um, everybody's bought in and they're committed to becoming a good football team. So I really believe that. The defense seemed to really come up to kind of time and again, though, to get you guys the ball back in the second half and things like that. Just what did you feel about how the defense played? Yeah, I thought I thought they played extremely hard. We, I thought we played physical. I thought we tackled a lot better. Again, the tackling, it's everything, so like there's lack of space. Um, we communicated really well. Um, I just felt like 
it, it showed some of the the progress we've been making kind of off the field and, and we brought it we brought it to the game today with, with good spirit and good energy so proud of those guys um, you know a couple of plays away from forcing a really long field goal maybe getting the ball back was it any schematic adjustments defensively or was it just kind of executing and doing things you need to that you hadn't been uh, both both you know tighten up the plan just like we said last week I think we're getting to get I mean we've had some consistency in who's going out there for us so Understanding who's doing what, you know, having a full week with uh, uh, with EJ and T dot at, at linebacker and our secondaries, you know, the same crew has been out there up front. We've been having the same guys go out there, so you're able to stack some of those that progress from week to week. I think that that had something to do with it too. But again, it's it's it's, it's one game. Let's go back. Let's look at it. But I think we can take you know we can keep taking it to the next level. It f felt like we had some opportunities where the ball was alive tonight, and we didn't uh, we didn't convert on those things. There were some penalties. Some critical penalties we'll look at and see it, if uh, there were things that we could do different, uh, technique-wise or just uh, how we're you know what we're, how we're handling those things. So um, because you know on the touchdown drives we we gave up a couple uh, there were penalties involved. So I want to look at that. What did you make of Jackson's day, Jackson Smith and Jr. Guy played great. I mean we we're in dark. You know we we're in the death zone right there at the end. Guy made a hell of a play. What, what can you say about the Cody White impact in this game where obviously he kind of emerged and had an opportunity and did what he did today? Love Cody, man. He's, um, this guy does it every day at practice. And um, I'm glad that he had an opportunity to show what he had to do. Guys were fired up for him. Uh, I just think it shows the depth we have in our football teams. Like I said, we have the right guy. I mean, just having an opportunity. This guy plays extremely hard, you know. So we love Cody. Happy for him. Wish we would have won the game. What, what, what happened to George Fan? Uh, it was the same same deal with his knee, I believe. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah. What about Kayvon Wallace? Uh, he's got an ankle. Do you have any idea of how severe it is with either of those guys? Um, no. Like uh, severe enough to not come back, so it's pretty clear, you know, pretty clear that we weren't going to have him back. So whatever that means, we'll look at it. We'll look at. I'm sure we'll look at it in the morning. Have some more. How did Ernest Jones look his second week, his second game with the team? Just uh, tough to tell on on just. Um, his individual performance, but I did feel like he made a couple, you know, racing type tackles when the ball wasn't stopped at the line of scrimmage. So that that was big for us. Uh, coverage wise, uh, don't have a great feel, but um, just excited to have him. You know, guy does a great job. He's one of us. You went with Josh Jove. Uh, what, what did you, I guess went went into that, and what did you think of how that worked out? Well, Trey's still coming back from the from uh, his injury, and so we just felt like. Um, He's not quite ready yet to, you know, take it on. Josh is still practicing really well, so uh, that's that's what went into. It's pretty simple.